We're back. Oh, dearie me. Sorry, everyone. I have no idea what happened. But secretly between us, the main reason I did it was to bump everyone around so that Gil is above me instead of you. And it feels <laughs> the, the vibe. The vibe feels much more positive now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, everyone's a winner. Anyway, where were we? Where were we? Oh yes, you were talking. Oh, we're on the wrong ship. Though look, it's put us back at the Nakura as well. How bizarre! It's really sent us back. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back to the Grams. There we go. Okay. So, um, you're chatting with um, the most sane person on the ship, Callahan. And you've learnt that Officer Security Officer Parks. Is sort of loves the loves the people down there. There's potential strikes that you've talked about, and so on and so forth. Um, Callahan looks to both of you and says, um, "Do you have all the supplies we need? By the way, are we fully stocked?" Yep, we have some supplies. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, um, I was just about to reconnect uh, comms. Two, um, two AMC two two two. So, if you're willing to wait, we can find out um, how they want us to do this. Sure thing. For everyone watching, those are the exact <laughs> words that Luke said to us when uh, when the stream crashed. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Okay, uh, at least it's still alive this time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so she smiles at you, the tour, and says, "Well, um, Mr. Liaison, do you want to do you want to come and help me?" Uh, yeah, sure, of course. I just don't want shit, but it's my job. Uh, um, she sort of flicks a few switches up, presses a few big buttons in, and the uh, the old um, CRT screen flips into life. You know, your well, your sort of very recognisable green glow comes across the Maitland logo as it boots up. It almost it's it's a bit older. It almost loads up like an old Spectrum game with the fuzzy edges around the edge, like lines and the boop, 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 loading in, and it sort of settles itself in. And uh, immediately as, as it loads, you see that um, there's like um, seventy six missed calls. Kind of thing. So, oh, okay. There's been. They obviously wanted to get in touch with us for something. Um, I tell you what, Deturi, she'll like this. Why don't you? Why don't you call? She won't be expecting who, that. Who? Who like this? The boss. The who? boss lady. The boss lady. The boss lady. Flock. She's the station. Ma she's the station manager. She's been. She's been over there for three years. She was here when I got here. She's. She's literally going to go back on the ship I am. She'll, she'll never, she, this is new to her. She'll have never heard someone else talking from this ship. That would blow her mind. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds, uh, sounds all right. So Remind this, me, what's the ship name again? This, um, the, the Martin, no, the Grahams. Ah, not the mark. The, the Grahams. The Grahams. The Grahams. They called it that because um, it was painted gold to start with, but that's faded over time, of oh, course. Man. Okay. And she presses a few buttons and she holds one in. She sort of tees you up with her finger. And then as she lets go of it, she... she like a conductor. Uh, hello, hello, mining cash two two two. Block, uh, come in over. Um, hello. Um, this says it's the Grahams, but you sound far too sober for a day seven Wilkes, and you sound you sound nothing enough like Elmo to be Rahimi, and you're definitely not Callahan. Who is this? Uh, this is the Grahams, yes. Okay, identify yourself, please. Uh, this is the Grahams. I he know... looks over to re a reaction from uh, 
and Callahan. Um, so it has a bit of a wry grin. Callahan is grinning quite uh, widely and is like, anyway, stir it up, keep it going. Hello, hello? hello. Who is this? this Who is, is this? This is the Grahams, over. I don't think so, Grahams. Who is uh, this? This is this my this is uh this is Lim Taturi from the uh from the Nakuru. Oh, the the Nakuru. In fact, joined Welcome. with the Grahams. Oh, how are you finding it? It's uh I think fragrant is the word that's been thrown around a bit. I'm not surprised with the three. That's that mostly we've... Wilkes. The three we've sent up there are three of the worst. I'm not surprised. Uh, no, listen, Callahan's, Callahan's given us a, a, a wonderful reception. That's because Callahan's basically high on acid the whole time. You know that, right? Uh, uh, no, you, we you, hadn't. Uh... You, you look over and Callahan's like pointing at things in the sky that aren't really there. And they no, start... we, hadn't, uh, we hadn't touched that touch that subject yet but uh i mean they managed to start up the comms okay so you know i'm i'm pretty sure they've plotted the course all right but we don't have a navigator with us so we're not sure really where we're heading okay um now Curry, do you have your full um your full cargo with you for your initial me uh your initial mission uh we have everything that we uh we were given yeah um fantastic um what i would like you to do is the follows if you could if you could uh first of all um disengage the nakuru from the grahams and if um you could bring your main team for the second part of the mission as explained down on the grahams then there will be a changeover of miners. The next team will go up in the Grahams and then the Nakuru can fill the Grahams with cargo and then the Nakuru can come down to refill our cargo down here. Repeat, your initial team come down immediately on the Grahams, no time to be wasted. It's only a 10 minute descent. Leaving um, your SAM unit, I believe. Leaving your SAM and one other to help um, refill the cargo as the Grahams returns. And then Nakuru to come down and to refill our cargo. Over. Do you understand? Uh, I understand. I'm not entirely uh, convinced that's a good idea given, given this current situation down there. Uh, we need you down immediately, please. Um, and we need our crew down immediately. We are hoping, of course, to start mining again soon. And the three that are up next for their week off, as you'd understand, are very keen to uh, get onto the Grahams. Uh, I appreciate that. Can you can you personally vouch for the three that will be coming up? Which is more my main, main concern. Uh, the three have all been checked by acting medical officer Latimore and are in good health and as good a mental health as can be expected. Over. Uh, it's more the... Uh, as I said before, it's more the relation to the to the current situation down there that I'm that I'm concerned with, and the safety of uh, the safety of uh, Sam and one crew member. Um, as you wish. Could you roll a liaison with um, your your charisma, please? I should have been warming a dice up, really. <laughs> uh, but that's a four plus four is an eight. Four plus four is eight. Okay. 
So, okay, uh, Nakuru. And that one more option is viable. If you're willing to bring our three crew members down on the Nakuru, and if your team can uh, dock, send back your Sam and another two crew members to return and stock the Grahams that will be on autopilot with no one on there. before your navigator brings the ship down and can get off the ship before we send people up in the Grahams. That way, your Sam and any other crew outside of your initial team will not come into contact with any other miners. Does that please you? Uh, it, it, it does me. Uh, stand by two minutes and I'll... Uh... I'll confer and get back to you. Over. Okay. Don't leave it too long. We need you down here quickly. Time is money. Money is time. Over and out. And it pings off. Uh, and he'll... I suppose he'll, he'll walk away a bit and turn away and uh, get over comms to everyone, as many people as he can, from the Nakuru. And say uh, they want us. Uh, the the station manager wants us to uh, to leave the Nakura up here, take the take the Grahams down, and then send up a new crew on the Grahams. I was only slightly concerned about mutilated bodies and miners that can't be accounted for coming back up and then liaising with the Nakuru. The other option is we take everyone down on the, the Nakuru offload and then uh, send somebody back up to the to the empty grams. Is that the plan? Luke? Above yeah, there. that's the two options. Yeah. You can go down on the grams and then come back with a new crew or you can all go down on the Nakuru and then the other three come up to resupply the grams. Uh, anyone got any thoughts? I might be overthinking it. Eddie, your security. Um, I, I know miners, to be honest, if it sounds like, if it sounds like it is, if she can vouch for the three that are coming up, They'll be very happy to come up and I don't think you'd see any trouble, especially while they're sober and we'll be long, you know, we'll be off the ship by the time they're sober. But if you're nervous, play it safe, man. Up to you. Up to you guys. I'm just a security here. Whatever I've got to do, I'll, uh, I'll hold it down, you know. I'll make sure things run smoothly up here. Either way. Well, she asked, she asked for the main crew, the main crew down there. So I guess it's up to the, uh, it's up to... The Sam and the one person that be staying up here. Um, you hear Evan. I'm um, more concerned about the uh, and he'll lower his voice. The mutilated body bodies. <laughs> 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 to be honest, we don't know them. It's not been done by a miner, right? Eddie, really Listen, cool. I'm just saying it feels about yeah. feels above the liaison officer's pay grade. <laughs> just giving you giving you the uh, giving you the choice. Eddie says, "Well, I'm willing to make the decision if none of you want to, but I'm happy. Like I say, I'm staying up here, whatever. Especially if this grams is part of what I will need to do. But it's up to you three whether you'd like to go down on the Grahams." I'll go down on the Nakuri. Don't worry about me. I've got Evan. Oh, well. He's stronger than he looks. I think 
I'd rather take the Grahams down because if something goes wrong down there, it would be nice to have the Nakuru to be able to come down and get us. I agree. But that's the only reason I care either way, if you know what I mean. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, perfect. I'll uh, I'll communicate that. Sounds like a plan. So does that mean we're leaving Carla on the Nakuru? Um, in game, Carla would need to stay on the Nakuru. Yes, she generally does. And Eddie's these staying there, and, and obviously Evan, who's suddenly become completely useless, is staying there. So that's fine. Which means the three of us have got to fly the Grahams down to the surface, um, which shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, after all, the three drunken idiots managed to get it up here. <laughs> You've got the best helmswoman in the fleet. Yeah, very true. How yeah. much wine? How much wine has she had? That's what I need to know. Just a sip. Just a sip. <laughs> And frankly, you know, it's easier to get a ship down than up. In fact, you wait long enough, they all automatically go down. Yeah, you also, it's like cruise control, right? Mm. So, uh, so yeah, I'm I'm very optimistic that we can land it, even if it's a bit ropey. Landing should be easy, and if it gets stranded there or what have you, we'll have the Nakuru that can come and get us. Perfect. Uh, Liam will flip back on the comms. Uh, come in. Uh, come in. Mining cash 222. Um, 222, flock here. Have you made your decision? Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're on, on route now um, on, the, on the Grahams. Splendid, splendid. I shall, um, I shall prepare a new team of three. Um, to bring the grams back up um, when you have uh, got off and they shall re-rendezvous with uh, your Nakuru team for um, cargo uh, refitting. Over. Copy that. Over. Uh, okay. Can I um, quickly send a message to Carla before we depart? Okay. You can, Carla. Um... I'm assuming, have you wandered up from the head into sort of the lounge area? Because Carla and Eddie and even Evan will have wandered into the lounge area. So there's no need to send a message. They were all on board. Okay. Oh, well, then I would just say to Carla and Eddie, I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but no miner at all sets foot on the Nakuru for any reason whatsoever. Uh, Eddie smiles. It's like, that's absolutely my plan. I don't want them. I don't want them within five meters of the airlock hatch, let alone on the ship. Brilliant. Then, then we're in agreement. <laughs> Excellent. You be safe down there, all of you. Uh, thanks. We'll call you when we need pickup. Excellent. We'll re. We'll be re um, stocking the Grahams, and then uh, we will come down to uh, restock at the station when we're told that it's safe to. All right. Um, Carla smiles at all of you and gives you sort of a wave and heads off to the airlock unless anyone wants to say anything to her. Um, Eddie sort of does, he sort of pumps his shotgun as a, as a show of I don't know what anti-minor yeah. <laughs> defiance. You know what you can be like. Yeah. And he watch stuff. And then Evan uh, turns to you, Renkov. And he says, I'm I'm sorry back then, um, Renkov. I heard, heard you got into a bit of trouble. You told me to, um, I was told to go to check on long sleep. And when we got there, it was just beds. So I remembered that there were long sleep pods in cargo. So I went to check on them. But there's no, there's no problem with those. They're all working perfectly well. Um, all right. Uh, I will um, not say anything else to Evan. <laughs> I will let him make his way back. Uh, but as soon as he's gone through the airlock to the Nakuru, yep. I am going to quietly say to 
Shay and Liam that there's something a bit off with Evan. He's not obeying instructions. <clears throat> so keep your eye on him. Noted. I don't know. I mean, he he went to long sleep like I like I suggested. I didn't even give him the instruction. It was more an idea. But I'll keep an eye. Good plan. Because um, we may need to recycle him into, you know, some form of space heater or something. Can you imagine how much time Maitland would charge us if we if we turned our Evan into a into a space heater? Oof. I mean, I'm sure they would regard it as a very, very expensive space heater. But then space is very big, needs a lot of heating. <laughs> the uh, Evan reliably informs me that it'd be more expensive than making a space heater out of humans. Yeah, Evan has this weird thing that humans are less expensive than um, than Sam's because they cost less to make, which is true. They're they're sort of free to make. He doesn't seem to appreciate that each human is exactly unique, whereas each Sam is essentially a clone of each other. You can replace them with an identical model. Um, I don't think he sees the value in individuality. Hmm. An interesting, an interesting thought. Well, the truth is, each of us, for all of our flaws, are an original work of art, and he's a print. <laughs> At this point, um, Callahan runs out past you, shouting that I need the loo, I need the loo, and rushes past you, leaving just the three of you around sort of the lounge bridge area. Is she heading down into the head in long sleep? Yes. I'd say, don't trip over the idiot. Okay, oh. I'll fly over him. It's okay. Liam turns to Shay and says, I hope that's not the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Maitland brand wine, right? Hmm. <laughs> Also it's used for one. cleaning glass and degreasing engines. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. To well, be fair, superb. I... Drinking is the second best thing it's best at. <laughs> so that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the, this crew aren't going to be any use to us, are they? Not for the purposes of landing our landing our Grahams. So we might as well take over, unhook from the Nakuru and get going, I reckon. Yep, let's do it. Um, I'll sort of bump fists with the other two and walk back to engineering in case I need to do anything during the landing. Look at him loving the fact he's actually got an engineering section now. Mm. <laughs> Who knew that life would be that simple? <laughs> I'm an engineer, the there's a thing on the map that says engineering, so I go there. Oh, he's, he's living his Geordie LaForge dreams in here, isn't he? <laughs> Give him a second to have a yellow top on before you know it. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before I'm screaming, she cannot take it, can um, <laughs> But the yellow top's just stained from all the stale smoke in the air. <laughs> well, it was a white top. It turned yellow because of all the stale smoke in the air. Or fresh, even, actually. As, uh, as Shay pointed out. Nonetheless. Yeah. Right, I suppose I'll head for the bridge. Fantastic. Um... It's a bit older than what you used to on the Nakuru, but not much. You're pretty confident you can probably do what you need to do with all your skills. Mad skills. Luke. Oh, sorry, mad skill with a Z as well, right? 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, as has been demonstrated. <laughs> Gotta say, Shay, Shay has Shay has really disappointed with her skill rolls on the bridge. Oh, building it up. That could all change. <laughs> it could, but so far, so good. Oh, I'm at your I'm at your beck and call, Gilly. Okay, let's see if I can fly this thing then. Right, uh, this will be a series of rolls in. See how smoothly it happens. Um, okay. First things first. Could you please roll a helm with education? Helm with education. That's a five plus a four is a nine. Okay. So you find it easy enough to sort of um, scooch in, you pump your chair a couple of times, you sort of get yourself into the right position and you can, you notice all the, all the buttons that need to be here and there and you sort of, you quickly feel at home in the console. And you hear crackle over the radio. Um, Gra um, it's Carla's voice. Graham's, this is the Nakuru. Can you hear me over? Is that you, Shay? Yep, I can hear you, Carla. Uh, we're just uh, disconnecting the umbilical over. Okay. You feel the slightest of like a, a slight rumble. And then um, out the corner of your eye, you do see um, on your scanner um, the blip of Nakuru starting to move away, leaving you orbiting alone. Uh, okay. Nakuru is free, Hawkins. Um, safe trip. Speak to you soon. Over and out. Okay. Looks like we're good to go. Right. Let's do some rolls. Let's see how good to go you are. Let's go <laughs> for agility and helm, please. That's two plus a six is an eight. I'll say generally you're good unless you totally fluff the roll. Nice. Um, you're still getting used to it. It's not like a, a really amazing flight. It's not the smoothest thing. There's a bit of a grinding and a bit of a grumble, but um, you do start to <clears throat> ease it down. It's sort of, you've worked out the best thing to do is to drop it, but sort of, it's all about trying to work out that angle because you're dropping out of orbit. So you're actually having to sort of move a bit forward as you're doing it. You're having to get the line going and you're, you're sort of tracking nicely towards 222 um, and it's all started very very smoothly indeed could you make another one of those rolls please yep oh that's a six plus a six is a twelve oh it's like if, if you've got it now you've got it and if you're, you're in the zone you're reading all sort of the lines and the blips as like like, like you're in the matrix or something you're almost picturing the flight path and in engineering, that it hardly feels like you're moving, but it almost feels like smoother than when you're in orbit. And as you're dropping, you'd expect sort of your body to feel a bit different, but it doesn't. It's amazing how smoothly she brings it into this to this moon. Um, there's a there's a crackle on the radio, and says, um, "Graham's Deterry, can you hear me? Flock over." Uh, yes, come in, come in, Flock. Over. Um, we see you um, closing in. You're doing excellently. Um, please um, ensure that um, all crew members, um, all our uh, miners, are ready to go in the cargo bay for landing. Over and out. Uh, Roger that. Uh, Liam will uh, nod to Shay and he'll uh, head, head back to round up some miners. Okie dokie. Who do you want to round up first? Uh, let's go with the... Hold on, let me check the map. Uh, unless I come across Callahan on my walk to, towards Wilkes, we'll go with Wilkes. Okay, Wilkes is snoozing in the bin bags where you left him. Uh, keep the boot. <laughs> ah! That's his. Uh, Wilkes. Yes. You're back. It's time I to am go. back. Come on. Oh, God. 
<sighs> back to that hell hole. Well, at least I've got my own bed to sleep in for the rest of the day. You sort of just hold Thanks up. more ibuprofen. <laughs> yeah, so God was a bit down with a bit of beer. He he just puts both arms up like a child wanting to be pulled out. Come on, I know the drill. Cargo me. Come on then. Come on then. Uh, roll a strength. Liam for me. will uh... roll a strength for me, please, Liam. With liaison. I tell you what, as you are um... so cheekily, I like it. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, it's... <laughs> Definition of liaising. Um, <laughs> so three plus five, plus five is, is eight. Uh, you like ease him up and he's sort of onto your sort of slumped against your shoulder. And he like pats your shoulder. He's like, Look, I'd like you, you know, we'd be friends, right? We'd be friends. You could teach me everything you know about liaising. We could be a liaison yeah, team. Yeah, of course. We could start a liaison agency, right? We could be the liaisons, <sighs> the liaison boys. A liaison uh, consultancy firm. Ah, oh, the uh, he's struggling with letters. It'd be the LFC, the LFC, yeah, LC, yeah, the LFC, the LFC, the LFC boy. We can have a handshake and everything. Yeah, I right. just see the motto: and... <laughs> liaison to others before they liaison to you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Liam will, assuming they get there, Liam will sit him down and say, "You think of the motto. I'm going to, I'm going to get the other two. I will think of the motto." And he sort of uh, slumps against sort of the spacesuits by the thing, and he's sort of mumbling to himself. Uh, Gilly, could you roll a agility plus helm? Yeah. Oh, that's a one. <gasps> Just a six is a seven. Uh, um, as you're as you're sort of sort of semi rushing back, you're sort of marching quite quickly through the lounge and toward, I'm guessing towards the head where the others where the others were last seen going. Um, you sort of reach the lounge and there's this sudden shudder where um, Shay has sort of got out of sort of lost the the route a little bit and had to do a quick. I don't know if her mind slipped or something, but a quick change in direction. And it sends you staggering against the wall. Um, ben, you're sort of, um, it's a classic Star Trek banger. You're thrown over your console. <laughs> and, 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 and one girder drops down from the ceiling with a little puff of smoke. A little random sort of like, like joyful shower of sparks. <laughs> yeah, one shower of sparks, exactly. <laughs> Um, as as you're sort of there, you and Callahan comes running out to you. Um, just just in a nick, her trousers are gone. And she's like, "What happened there? I couldn't find the head. I used a bucket. What's going on?" Uh, it's all right. It's all right. We're just we're landing. Don't worry. Uh, Hawkins has got it all in hand. It's fine. Good. Good. Oh, I, I, I knew she was. I knew she was good. She had a, an aura. She's got beautiful aura. So pretty. It's like Paisley. <laughs> she has this like, orange Paisley aura. That's that's exactly what I was saying to our Sam the other day. <sighs> you're right. Uh, listen, you you're uh, you're needed. What? Hold on. What was the area I was taking them to? <laughs> <laughs> the cargo. <laughs> the cargo. <Yeah. laughs> get get to, get to the cargo. We're going to be down soon. It's uh, it's time to go. You've got that time to uh, time to work off. Ah, Nearly there. Yes. Oh, so close, so close. Only a couple of months. Yes, 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 yes. I must get myself together. Where's, uh, where's Rahini? Um, I, I think he's in the head. That's why I, I think, yes, down there. And she scampers off down the corridor towards the cargo so, and starts skipping. We're going home. We're going home. Uh, and Liam will head off towards the head. Okay. Um, Gilly, roll a um, your navigation. Your met your helm plus your um, agility, please. Sorry. Uh, 
Oh, that's another six. Six plus six is a twelve. Oh, it's, it's just smooth again. It was just a moment. I don't know what it was. Maybe there was some atmospherics or something. It probably wasn't your fault at all. <laughs> the, the, the triads bang the underside. And it's, and it's smooth. And you can see it now beneath you. You can see um, what looks like it was a... Um, it's like a big... Um, you, basically, you know, like when you were at the, um, the base um, recently... Uh, where you had the miners and they had their large mining sort of derrick, sort of their big ship that's outside where they've sort of got to spend their time. It's like one of those and they get um, sort of basically thrust into the rock of a moon and mined down into it. So, and then the refinery sort of stays or goes into orbit or whatever. And it's sort of ready-made mining platform that's just mine, just like drilled into the moon. It's ugly. It's very industrial. It would never win any awards for homeliness, but it's there. And you are a minute away from landing. You see to the the left hand side of it, sort of the near side as you are. The um, there's a docking a docking platform. It's outside, so like no atmosphere. But that is where you're meant to dock. Okay. Um. There's one more turn before you do. Um, Misha, picking yourself up. Um, anything you particularly need to do before uh, final docking? Uh, no, I'll stick around to you know shut down the engines properly when we've when we've made contact. But okay. other than that, no. <clears throat> Fantastic. Then we shall be back to you in a bit. Um, Liam, go on, Pokemon. Um, you got to catch them all. Slapping, <laughs> slapping me anyway. Come on, wake up. Oh. Oh. Okay. He's like, oh man. God, that really, really hurt. That bugger kicked me right between the legs. Oh, what, which, there's no one else here. Oh, oh. That, 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 other, that other guy that come with you. I was only playing a trick on him. He come in. He was looking for the light. He put his hands in my in my puke that I puked up the wall earlier today. Oh. Poor guy. I oh, know. Rank. Oh God, he didn't need to do that. I was only playing. And I fist bumped him as well. Oh man. <laughs> oh. oh man. Listen, come on. We're almost back. God. He sort of reaches you're, out. You're he reaches Jesus. reaches out for help. Sort of grabbing at himself and sort of trying to limp along. Give me a hand, and man. Liam looks at his hand to check for vomit. <laughs> that assuming one's it's kind clean. Of, that one's kind of okay. Up. Yeah, that's okay enough. Oh, come on. Come on, then. To cargo. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to going back, man. This is a this is a dream. That's an escape, you know, a week. Got to get every... Man, it's going to be another nine, ten weeks till I get back up here again. Bleak, man. Bleak. I've got years of this left. Uh, it'll fly by. Uh, easy for you to say. You spend half your time in the nine, ten long weeks, sleep. Anyway. Sure, I hope so. We'd, we'd break it down into these chunks, you know. Just like just like the chunks I blow. And he sort of staggers out after you and sort of eases into the cargo hall and sees the other two looking kind of sorry for themselves. And he sort of uh, settles down with them. Um, Gilly, can you roll one final? This is your landing, so make it good because there are people watching you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a one. <laughs> a six is a seven. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Maybe the pressure, it's, it's a new platform. You've never landed on it before, and it's sort of, you've had to sort of get into the right, the right bit and. Um, Briefly, you sort of forget to put down the landing, the, the, the landing gear, because you're not used to landing on surface as such. And a bit too late, you remember, you sort of flick it up, but it's sort of, you're almost too close to landing. So as the, the sort of the landing gear descends, you've already a bit too close. It grinds and creaks and scrapes a huge gouge in the, in the floor. And you sort of, you land wonky. 
and it, it just this horrible grating grinding sound and you've probably caused some uh, long-term damage to either the docking bay or the undercarriage of the Grahams. Oops. Um, Misha, the ship has come to a rest as much as you can tell. You can tell it was horrible. <laughs> I will... Um sort of ease my aching muscles you know the slight jolt <laughs> and then uh, and then pop the uh, pop the engines to <coughs> idle and make sure everything's safe and shut down cool education um, education plus engineering then please let's do a proper job of it okay education plus engineering um is three plus two plus Two. Total of seven. Okay. Um, you flick off the things you can do. Um, it seems to be going well. There's one bit that doesn't seem to be flicking off, so you do the old engineering trick, sort of giving it a punch. And uh, it sparks a bit, but the light goes off. So it's off for now. Goodness knows if it'll start again. But, you know, uh, yeah, it's not your problem. Not my ship. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, it has landed. And in the bridge, um, show you here, um, you hear a familiar voice rang over. Uh, this is station manager Flock. Um, uh, not the best landing we've ever seen, but at least you're down. Um, please proceed to the airlock. If you do not have your own suits, we have um, Maitland suits available. You will need them. Make your way across the uh, landing bay and to the airlock to um, AMC 222. Okay. Th this, is, um, this is open ground, right? We need spacesuits. Yes, you all need spacesuits to get out, yeah. Yeah. Um, then since I'm just coming out into the cargo bay, I will walk out and immediately start getting ready in a spacesuit. Alien will will do the same. Look at the others and say, that, you know, this is the. I think this is the first time I have put one of these on without being checked over by uh, by Clarkson. Feels like a big step, you know. Yeah. I mean, in theory, I can check you over, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. No. Nah. It's okay. Honest, I don't think he did. He did I don't either. Think he knew either. No. no. <laughs> No. Yeah. You coming, Shay? Yep. Yeah, on my way. Now, at some point, we're going to have to pour these three idiots into spacesuits. Luckily for you, two of them uh, are managing to get them on okay. It's just the uh, rather still drunk Wilkes who is struggling a little bit. You know, I have a radical idea. The benefit of an airlock is you can just cycle the damn thing and go. How about we let it be other people's problem to get these three safely across? We've got them down. <laughs> they're in the ship. They're on the property. The people who are coming to take this ship back up again, it's their job to get them back. I mean, we were we were told to get them into cargo, which is what we've done. Yeah. And bring them to the surface, which we've done. I agree. Uh, Leon will turn to the three of them and say, it's a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. I'm sure, uh, <laughs> sure we might talk again. <laughs> You're a good man. You're a good man. I've I've thought of a motto. I'll I'll catch up with you later. And Wilkes just like let me know. Tumbles over backwards <laughs> into the uh, into the computers. <laughs> yeah, you know, marching them along like a crocodile in in between traffic is not going to be any fun. Um, okay, uh, I will nod to the others and step into the airlock. 
uh, Liam will follow. And Shay will follow as well. Fantastic. You know how the airlock works. It's very similar to yours. It's a very Maitland design of like, and even if it's like the ship's 20 years older than yours, it's still using the same sort of stuff. So I'm not gonna make you roll anything. You know how it works. And you push out and the outer doors open. Um, I'm gonna bring up the AC222 for you right now, briefly. Excellent. Um, and if you look over to the left, this is where you are on the landing pad. And uh, the landing pad's bigger than that is, but I had to fit it onto the picture, of course, because uh, yep. it's very large. And uh, you see a cross open ground, an umbilical, um, built into the outer shell. Uh, looking uh, across, you can see the expanse of the, um, the moon orbiting this gas giant, which is huge above you. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the landing pad is very much slightly up on everything. So you have to go down a few steps and then towards this umbilical. So you have this strange view that you're looking across at this higher level of the, uh, of the mining base that's been sort of drilled into it. And you could just get a sense of it just jutting out of this big, gray, lifeless rock. And you sort of you hear that, the breath in your ears, of course, from being back in a spacesuit and that utter silence of the uh, of eternity around you. Okay. Well, it's an interesting looking rock. Umbilical, everyone. Yeah. 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 Uh, the block station manager seemed pretty uh, pretty eager for us to get down here. Either us or the miners. Well, the miners are down. We're down. <laughs> we should probably go and report in. Um, yeah. Just a quick scan around. I mean, are we the only ship on the landing pad? What they have is they have a few little... Uh little one man almost like bubbles with with arms out the front right. you'd get in and it's almost like claw arms for moving cargo and that there's some bigger cargo out here so some things the smaller things would be taken through the umbilical of course but some bigger bits of cargo have to be stored outside and so there's these there's these little things with the claws that are mainly used for moving the cargo making sure it's strapped down getting things out and so on, but no big other ships. They were literally bought here and dumped here. Hmm. Okay. Um, then I shall head for the umbilical and, you know, head inside and make my way through to <clears throat> the interior as best I can. Shay will follow. Uh, yeah, as will Liam. The umbilical, the open door, the the outer door with just a, a blip opens uh, electronically and closes behind. Um, and once you're inside, um, as you're walking the length, you've got little jets of air that are like pushing in oxygen. Mm -hmm. Sort of filling it, the mix, filling as you go. So like by the time you get to the other end, um, you have you have a full weight on you. It's it's a moon. You sort of very much as our moon. You, you weren't going to like float off into into forever, but it's a very thin. You know, so your lighter step as you entered in. By the time you get to the inside, is a much heavier step, and you can tell that the air is thickening around you and fruitening up. The umbilical itself is very unexciting. It's dark, it's dingy, it's a bit of rusty around the edges. It's It looks much older than its actual age would be. Uh, okay. Very dark. A few of those air blowers have sort of, are not working. You know, they're broken down and never been fixed because it does a good enough job. And once you get to the end, um, the red light at the end, pretty much in time as, um, Misha, get to the end. 
plink screen next to the door. Sort of wince a little bit, turn around and punch <laughs> it. And that's where we get end, of course, for the evening. <laughs> Alarms blare. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that's all for next time. All the death and panic is for next time. Uh, that's what we like. As long as we can put it off. Put it off the next time. Put it off for another month. Works for me. <laughs> that's the thing to do. Thank you, Luke. Exactly. Thank you, Ewan, and thank you, Gilly. That was great. Mm, thank you very much. Thank everybody. you. Thank you all. I enjoyed that this evening. You all did good jobs. It must be nice for some of you to be the sober ones in a in a drunken mess for once. <laughs> it was. Yeah that that was that was very good fun. <laughs> yes. Uh, Thank you all for watching us this evening. Uh, that is the end of that. Um, if you don't already, consider following us on uh, Twitch, which is here. That would be absolutely fantastic if you like what you see. Uh, this this game com generally comes about every four, five, six weeks, depending on how it fits and Gilly's availability and so on. Um, so it's not a massive investment if this is what you come along for, um, which I wouldn't blame you. Um, Otherwise, we do loads of other stuff. Consider a Twitter at Boys Baltic as well. Um, or just find Gilly because she does amazing world building stuff. Even though I know you've been struggling with some sort of writer's blocky sort of stuff. I've noticed a little bit and this and that. But it's some really good stuff. Um, we're back on Monday for some video gaming. I'm playing through the quarry. And Ben is mocking me when I get jump scared by a squirrel and things like that. It was a terrifying squirrel, though. <laughs> it was a beady black eyes and everything. Terrifying thing. Very frightening squirrel. Um, but we're going to take tomorrow off. So uh, so uh, we're going to have a nice sleep tomorrow, and we'll be back on Monday. And hopefully we'll see Gilly soon enough, I hope. We can't leave it hanging there, after all. You own, you own Maitland a new ship, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad we took the Grahams down. That was a good choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Well done. We've, we've, we've yeah. found we found her Achilles heel. She's amazing at docking in space, but when it comes to actually landing, that's where the it's problem is. It's just well, an unfamiliar you, you space. You say or... that, there were four rolls, there were two sixes and two ones. You know, that's kind of averages out, I feel. Am mm. I? I'm sure those were the rolls. Are you saying she's <laughs> got like a mercurial spirit? Uh, Oh. Well, just an unfamiliar ship exactly exactly well thank you everyone we really appreciate it um take care mm. of you all and we're all going to go to bed i think not together but we're not we're not rainbow <laughs> and uh <laughs> we're not doing the rod jane and Freddy <laughs> thing, no. exactly. uh we'll see you all soon take care goodbye everyone thank you bye yes, good night, night.